Mine. Mm. Mine. Mine. So despite being severely underutilized in pickleball, even at the highest levels of the game, vocal cues are super important for staying on the same page as your partner and not getting crossed up when you both accidentally go for a shot or neither of you goes for a shot. In this video, we're going to be discussing a few super important tips regarding vocal cues and discussing when calling the ball is really important. The first tip about vocal cues is a simple one but really easy to mess up and I am guilty of messing this up a lot. A vocal cue should always be an indication and never a command. This means that you should always call for the ball and say mine, but you should never instruct your partner to go for the ball and say yours. If you consistently mix up whether you say mine or yours, your partner is always going to be confused, right? Because they're never going to know when you open your mouth whether they should back up and let you hit a shot or whether you opening your mouth is actually telling them to hit the shot. So when you hear a voice coming from your side of the court, it should trigger you to do the same thing every single time, which is to back off and let your partner hit a shot while you make sure that you're in the proper position. Mine. Tip number two is to trust your partner. This also seems really obvious, but I've seen a million examples where one partner will call the ball and then their partner will just completely disregard it and hit the shot anyways. Although you can sometimes get away with this and still win a point, the best way to build a really strong partnership is to actually have genuine trust in your partner so that way when they call a ball, you back off. If they call a ball that you think should have been your shot, just wait until after the point is over, discuss it with them then, but don't go for that shot during the point because there's a higher chance that you guys both try to go for it and you lose that point. Tip number three is to be loud. This can also seem like a really easy one, but as the points start to speed up faster and faster and things start to get more hectic, it can really be easy to kind of get tunnel vision and not really hear that well. So make sure that you are calling balls loudly so that way there's no doubt whether or not your partner heard you. Tip number four is forehand greater than backhand. What that means is that if both players are right-handed and there's a ball coming down the middle, the forehand is going to be a lot easier to hit, which means that that player on the left side of the court is going to have a forehand and they should be the one taking that shot down the middle. If one partner is right-handed and the other partner is left-handed, just talk to your partner before the game and kind of make a plan for who's going to handle balls down the middle so that way you're both not going for them. Mine. What happens if both players are at the net and there's no time to call the ball? Great question. So if both players are at the net, I would say it's better for both of them to go for a shot down the middle just out of pure instinct as opposed to neither of them going for that shot. Just because you want to make sure you're at least getting a paddle on the ball. Even if you happen to collide paddles, it's better that somebody's hitting a shot as opposed to nobody hitting a shot. Hey Adam, at night when my wife climbs into bed and turns on the TV, I've started stealing the remote and screaming mine and turning on reruns of Sopranos. My wife has recently gone to spend nights at her mom's. Does saying mine only apply to pickleball? All right, uh, that's all the time we have today for FAQs, folks. Let's move on to drills. The most important time that vocal cues will come into play is on balls down the middle. So for this drill, we're going to practice that exact scenario. Two partners are going to start back at the baseline, and somebody on the other side of the net is going to feed it down the middle ball. One of the two partners will go ahead and call that ball, the other partner will come to the net, and then you'll play that point out. After you've played that point out, go ahead and rotate one spot over, so that way everybody's getting a chance to really practice with their partner of calling that ball down the middle. Mine. Mine. Thank you guys so much for watching another video on this channel. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see on the channel and I will try to incorporate those things into future videos. Really hope that these videos continue to be helpful for you. Thank you guys so, so much and I will see you all next week.